Hey family, what's going on? I uh, hope everyone is keeping safe and well, obviously the unpredictable times at the moment um, sort of feels like we've gone back to last year uh, when we're in, you know, sort of a, a lockdown and that sort of stuff. We had many restrictions put on us, um, but I do hope everyone is staying safe and well. Um, key reminders, obviously, just be respectful, be patient with others um, and just know we're all in this together. We're all a part of this together and we're all going to get through this at the end of the day. Um, but I want to give everyone a bit of an update as to what's been going on here at Superb. I did promise a name change and a rebrand um, a little while back, and that is still coming. It's still in the works. Uh, we are working on it. I'm very excited to basically push live and, and go live with a new name and everything else. But um, I want to make sure everything is basically in place. It's all ready to go. Um, and at the moment, we're in the final stages. I think I said that last time, but we are in the final stages now. The website copy is getting redone as we speak. Uh, the Brand developer is actually working on the rest of the graphics to make sure everything is consecutive and consistent right throughout. Um, so we have a really strong new brand image uh, when we decide to go live, um, which will be happening in the next few weeks. So stay tuned um, and keep your eyes peeled for that one. But I want to give everyone also a bit of an update as to what's going on with the business challenges. I mentioned it in my last video and you might have seen a few of my stories on Instagram talking about the business challenges that have been completing each month. So last month I completed the push-up challenge. And its aim is to push for better mental health within Australia, raising much needed funds for organizations such as Lifeline, Headspace, and also the Push for Better Foundation. In total, we raised $8 million throughout Australia uh, with people completing the push-up challenge and getting donations um, donated to them. And we actually donated back 900 and, ooh, let me get the actual figure, $938 back to Lifeline Australia, um, which is an awesome achievement. And I'm, I'm very proud of that, to be able to give back to an organization that gives out to so many, that's there for anyone at, at any point in time. They're there in the darkest moments, um, just then they know that they're not alone. There is someone out there to talk to, um, and they are there um, to basically be there for anyone uh, at any point in time, um, anywhere. So I want to thank everyone that donate, donated. Um, I donated 10% of the website subscription costs back to Lifeline Australia, um, which was a fantastic sort of thing to be able to do and give back, as I say, to that organization. This month, however, something a little bit different. Um, we're still on the, the physical element of completing um, a challenge. Uh, and that challenge is the Fly Into July challenge. So it's all about movement, being able to move um, and have that ability to move throughout and, and freely throughout Australia as we do. So it's about basically encouraging people to set some simple goals to be more active, focus on rehabilitation through movement, um, and also your own health as well and lifestyle choices that you make um, throughout the month of July. So really focusing on that. And I know that there is dry July, which we could have done, but I thought this one is a little bit better. It's about movement and I'm supporting some really important organizations and charities as well. So the Fly Into July Pathway Program is intended to help remove the barriers to support people with accessibility requirements. So as part of this, it's basically raising awareness about that to remove some of the barriers that there are for people who do have trouble um, with accessibility to basically open that up and have more pathways so that they can get the support that they need to be able to get back out there and move again. Uh, that's what this is all about. So we're, we're actually supporting um, as our sort of our key supporter for this month, we're supporting the Little Heroes Foundation. Now, the Little Hero, Heroes Foundation is set up to support seriously ill children and their families in need, um, in times of need, um, basically there just to give that support. And, and be able to give back to them, um, especially in, this, in, the, in the tough times that they go through with seriously ill children. Um, and, and it's not good for the children themselves, but also the family that have to go through that as well. So I'm really proud to be supporting the Little Heroes Foundation. Um, and if you want to donate, there is a link below which you can do that to donate to that organization. Um, but I will be donate, donating again to that foundation at the end of the month. Um, so stay tuned for that figure when I do release that one. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But Look, really, guys, at the end of the day, just remember, stay safe um, and be respectful, be uh, be patient with everyone and uh, just have a little bit of fun every single day. A saying which I absolutely love, which is actually off the, the Kung Fu Panda uh, movie, um, the old wise turtle uh, once said that yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, and that's why they call it the presence. And that honestly, for me, when I think about it, I'm like, that is so true. Today is a gift. And we should be treating each day as a new opportunity, a new chance to be better and a new chance to grow as well. And if we treat every day like that, we're all going to have a really good day um, and a really good positive outlook on things. So just remember, you know, stay safe, just be understandable, patience and be respectful to others as well. But most importantly, as I say, stay safe and uh, make sure you sanitize your hands and wear your mask when you can.
Thanks, guys. Have a good one.